In this lesson, we're going to be using some of the things we lear learned in our first two introductory lessons. And so this is going to be application of what we've already learned. In this lesson, we're going to be solving for a linear equation with one variable. Now what that means is you're going to have one letter. So you have the letter X here. And we're going to solve for X. So any times that you see one of these, the question will say something like solve for X. Now remember, it may not always be an X. It could be any letter, but we're going to solve for X. Now, if you watch the introductory videos, one of the first things I taught you was solving problems was like working with a seesaw. You're going to have to do balance things on both sides. We're going to allow, we're going to use those skills in this video. So let's see if we can do it together. Then I'll let you practice a couple on your own. What we're going to do, remember, you're going to have letters on the left and numbers on the right with an equal sign between them. Okay, Letters on the left, numbers on the right. Well, this becomes a little more complex than what we've seen before because there's parentheses. Whenever there's a number outside of a parentheses, it means multiply. So we're going to multiply this guy with both people inside. Four three times 4x is, 3 times 4 is 12, so we get 12x minus 3 times 2 is 6. Now remember, if you look at your, your rules, that's a positive and a negative is a negative. So 12x minus 6 equals 5x plus 4. We didn't have to do anything special with what's on the right-hand side. Now, Letters on the left, numbers on the right. There's a letter, and there's a letter. Well, I've got to move that guy over there to the left. Remember, we have to do a balance. Right now, he's a positive. To move him, I have to subtract 5. Whatever I do on one side, I have to do on the other side. So I'm going to put them together. They both have that letter. 5x minus 5x disappears. So 12x minus 5x is 7x. I still have a minus 6 equals positive 4. And so I have it together. Well, almost. Letters on the left, numbers on the right. Well, that number right here needs to move over here. Well, it's minus 6 right now, so I have to do the opposite to move it. Whatever I do on this side, I do on this side. Add 6. So minus 6 plus 6, well, that's a 0. 4 plus 6, that's 10, equals 7x. Okay, so letters on the left, numbers on the right. But I want to have just x. And I don't have just x. I have 7x. All right, as I look at it, it is 7 times x. So I have to get rid of the 7. So if he's multiplying right now, to get rid of him, I have to divide. Whatever I do on the left, I do on the right. So 7 divided by 7 goes away. All I have left is x equals 10 sevenths. And there's my answer. Not too difficult. You just have to be very careful as you move things around. Let's do one more together. Erase very quickly. Now remember, I'm going to put letters on the left, numbers on the right. Let's see what we get with one like this. 3 plus 2x equals 4, parentheses, 2 minus x. Now, if I go too fast, pause the video, write the equation, and then turn the video back on. Don't let me get too far ahead of you. All right, as I look at the equation, oops, there's parentheses, so i got to get rid of these. So I have to multiply the 4 times the people inside. So everything's okay on this side. So I'll rewrite it. Equals 4 times 2 is 8. And 4 times negative x, a positive and a negative. If I look at my rules, that's a negative. That's negative 4x. Okay, so now the parentheses are gone. I multiplied through. There's my equation. Numbers on the left. Excuse me. Letters on the left. That would be great, but that's not working right now. Um, I have to move this letter over here. Oh, okay. Minus 4x. To get move it, I have to do the opposite. Plus 4x. So whatever I do on this side, I have to do on this side. So I did it on both sides of the equal. 
Uh, minus 4x and plus 4x, that's gone. It cancels. Uh, so I have 3 plus, plus and a plus I'm adding is plus 6x equals 8. That's looking better. Um, letters on the left, got it. Numbers on the right, so I have to move this over here to this side. And to do that, it's a positive right now, so I have to subtract 3. So I have to do that on both sides. 3 minus 3 is gone. So it's 6x equals 8 minus 3 is 5. And I want to solve just for x. So I've got to get rid of the 6. That's 6 times x. So do the opposite. Divide by 6. Answer, x equals 5 over 6. This is how you solve for a variable. You have one variable in each one. When I mean one variable, it's one letter. I had to combine them, but it was just one letter. It didn't have an X here and a Z over here. They were the same letter. And so I have to move things around, add and subtract on both sides what I need to do. And then in the end, in this case, I had to divide by 6. So my answer came out to 5, 6. In the next video, you'll get to practice some on your own. Let's see how you do.